the Freeman world god. I feel like the Freeman people are... Okay, wait, are you recording my voice? Okay, sure. Um... The slow release of the Freeman population into the province of Wen began a thousand years ago. The start of Wen's corruption outbreak. What is most peculiar about the situation is that none of the result recruits sorry, seem to know anything about their origins. Information about Fruma is scarce to none due to the mysterious amnesia. The one-way arrangement has been in place for so long has become entirely normal and mostly unquestioned. 350 years ago, however, a splinter group left Fruma through the mountains on the northern coast. This is a feat previously thought impossible due to the unnatural domain and another heavy, heavily guarded path. Okay. Uh, these rebels were highly skilled workers who, much like the wind recruits, lost memories of their origins once they passed through the mountains. Confused, scared, and vulnerable, they migrated to a large island close to the northern gate, the island of Caucasus. Back then, Caucasus was entirely independent, peaceful and self, peaceful and self-sustaining nation. Its sole inhabitants were the Avos, a bird-like humanoid that colonized the terrain and the steep cliffs long ago. Avos' history is relatively unknown, but their beliefs and practices are entrenched in spiritual and natural magic. Avos are truly one with nature and respect all living things which explain their willingness to grant asylum to any refugees who washed up on their shores, regardless of their art. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Thus began the era of the Corkians on the island. But, while the Arvos gave, gave an inch, the new humans took a foot. The Arvos granted them their own borders, and they stev steadily grew over the years. Today, the humans occupy the majority of the island. The new Corkians, while still reserving the legal right to occupy and govern themselves, do not own the island. Although the lands are internationally recognized solely as Avos territory, a self-sufficient neutral land, the real story is quite the opposite. Over 350 years of dual occupation, tensions have grown between the two civilizations. What is the next? Let's go. Why is the door not open? Okay. I'm gonna leave soon. Oof, alright. At least, at least... Document. <sighs> okay. The Avos, still clinging to their old spiritual beliefs, occupy, occupy the highest mountains where it is unfeasible for the humans to live. The Corkians in the lowlands have forged a truly industrial nation. They did not possess any magical knowledge when they departed from such power was restricted only to those at the top of the Fruman hierarchy. However, left to own their own devices for a few hundred years, skilled Corkian workers soon found, soon discovered, they were capable of harnessing the most obscure of the arts, electric, the magic of machine. They utilized the plentiful natural resources of the islands to develop the most advanced, magnificent creation to aid them in everyday life. Uh, currently, while tensions are at their most severe, neither the Avos nor the Corkians are seen as the enemy. Both have remained allies for the most. The Corkians have enjoyed the advanced medicine and aid from their in 
industrially adept human guests while they have maintained their traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle. However, one major disagreement between the two groups has caused a rift. The others are fundamentally, fundamentally against the environmentally destructive wake left by humans, and in response erected a small a wall as a symbol of their dis- displeasure. I am pronouncing words badly now. The, rela- the Corkins did not react at all, instead attempting to maintain, maintain their positive and peaceful relationship with the island owners without ceasing their industrial activities. The ocean has been considered a natural buffer zone between the three provinces for some time, leaving the occupants of most islands some represented, with the exception of Selkov. Corcus, however, is no exception. The Corkians seek international recognition from the other provinces as one of their own. Oh, the purple one switched to 33. Yeah. I might sleep soon. Let's leave after I read this. I'm gonna sleep soon. We're well, going the to bed at the same time. Wow, wind, wow. I'm European again. Nice. <laughs> Yay. Well, we should already be asleep, like, for an hour or yeah. already. Pog is gonna sleep soon, he says in chat, but... Two more chapters. Well, the others simply wish to exist in harmony with the wind and waves, this was not enough for the new occupant. The ne- but the basic human need for recognition kicked in, dream. <laughs> Dream, and the Colkians were determined to get it. What? Then, what do you say? The basic human need for recognition kicked in, and the Colkians <laughs> were determined to get it. Oh, Your Colkian dream. Job. What? What? Yeah, I'm Colkian. I'm, I'm are secretly you? black. Uh, there's so much. Uh, okay, time to leave. Take care, everybody. Me too. The, the, the kiss, machines of kiss. Corcus were impressive. They paled in comparison to what they called their national monument, the factory. The factory is a massive facility from which all their machines originate. It is capable of producing an army in a matter of weeks. It would surely prove the other provinces that Corcus is deserving of international representation, especially since it may prove to be indispensable as a tool against the corruption. Yeah, exactly, we need to make a BuzzFeed quiz about what race you are. Um, teething problems have proved to hinder their plight for recognition. One of these complex words, holy crap. The, ele- the electromagical force that governs a factory seems to have an agenda of its own, and some machines have rebelled against their creators. The resourceful Corkians have since shut down the factory to fix the problem. However, the land is still scattered with pockets of desperate mechanicals searching for a much-needed spare part. Once they solve the problems of the factories governed for, Caucus is likely to become an international server. The ingenuity and industrial progression can no longer be ignored, regardless of the situation. The end. I need to get a lot of water off. Oh my god. Especially generation called 